Hi Gemini, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I am here to do your weekly reading for June 18th through the 24th. This is for the Sun sign, Moon sign, Rising sign, Venus sign of Gemini. Keep in mind that the timing is fluid. This could have happened, could be happening now, or could be happening in the future. Typically my readings are love readings. We will see whatever comes up. I'd ask you, or I'd like to ask you to keep all negative comments about another sign out of the comment feed. It's fine for you to leave a comment, but I don't want to hear anything about what your ex, whoever sign they are, did to you. You can go ahead and say it, just don't mention their sign, okay? We don't want to bash any other signs, so I do appreciate your consideration. Um, this is for the sign of Gemini. You may be in your head trying to make a decision, okay? You may be feeling trapped at this time, mentally trapped. You have to make a decision. You don't know what to do, so you're kind of stuck. Even though you can, you can make a decision if you want. You can get out of your head if you want to, but you're comfortably stuck. Um, could be comfortably numb, okay? That could be the case. Here, not feeling very stable, not feeling very secure. There may could be some family feuds going on. Um, problems at home. Yeah, there's definitely some sort of unhappiness on the home front, okay? There could be children leaving the home. There could be somebody moving out if it's not a child. There could be, you know, there's just some, some um, family relationship issues, okay? Whether it's with a partner or with your kids or your parents or something like that. There is definitely some relationship problems, okay, going on this week. And, you know, you're probably having to take a leadership role in this situation. I just want to get this zoomed in. Let's see. You know, your outcome card is to take action. Act now, think later. That's the outcome. So by the end of this week or during this week or whenever this resonates, somebody's going to take some action on their own behalf. You're dealing with somebody who doesn't have good intentions. Could be a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Somebody is, um, they're very cold, they're withdrawn, they aren't being honest with you. I don't know. Could be any sign. I feel as though this at this point you're trying to bring back some control to your life. You're trying to restore some control. Remove yourself from toxicity, okay? You're trying to remove that shit from your life. And it feels like you're using all the resources that you can muster up to make some changes. But it's, it's causing you some sort of mental anguish, okay? But you are having to really come up with some sort of plan to... Prevail. It looks like you guys are, are manifesting change. You're making changes. You're wanting to make changes. You are making changes. You are. It's like people can't stand in your way even though they're trying to. I feel like you're dealing with somebody who is, is harsh and they don't want you to be enlightened about who they really are or what they're doing, but you are enlightened, okay? I think you're seeing things clearly, but they're trying to confuse you. They're causing some confusion within you. That's what they do, okay? But I feel like you guys have a oneness about you, an inner knowing that tells you what the hell is going on, and I feel like you're dealing with somebody that is toxic, and you're probably finding the, the tools to remove them from your life or you're thinking about it you're thinking about how you're going to do this okay i feel like something has happened very very fast somebody is charging towards you very very quickly and it's impulsive it's probably it could just be sexual if this is in regards to a sexual relationship they have no staying power and you probably know that they're not very secure I feel like you have the upper hand in this situation, although, and they don't like it. They definitely don't like that you have the upper hand, so they're probably being cold and withdrawn and using emotional blackmail in any way to get you to see it from their, their um, perspective. But the fact of the matter is, is that 
you are seeing things absolutely clearly and you are definitely aware of, of who this person is. You are. You know that they're toxic. You know that they're only after one thing, okay? And it could be materialistic things. It could be, they could be, it could be sex, whatever it is. You're dealing with somebody who has, um, it looks to me like they have a lack of morals, okay? They do. They have a lack of, uh, of, integrity and I do apologize but I feel as though at this time you don't even you don't even want to sacrifice any of your time for them it's like you know I, I'm not I'm, I don't want to be stuck in this predicament again so I feel like you're, you're trying to stall this person because you're afraid of, of who they really are and the fact of the matter is is you know who this person really is so don't doubt yourself get out of your head get out of your head you're seeing things clearly you're dealing with somebody who is not does not have your best intentions at heart okay just saying we're gonna get you some more cards I think in the past you've let your you've let your your own thoughts hold you back but I feel like as now at now you know you're decide you're probably finding some strength and some some willpower to step outside of your comfort zone and I say the strength because the strength came out you guys are um, working on getting your life back on track that's what's going on here it's like you guys are, are are finding confidence to step into your own power i see that you guys are very this is a powerful week for you gemini especially with the well the new moon in gemini was last week but this is being recorded on the new moon in gemini on june 13th this is when this is being recorded so this would definitely resonate i mean you guys are, are really in your power absolutely this week um and next week so whenever this resonates for you i feel like you guys have an abundant amount of strength courage charisma um i feel as though you've been stuck in a rut with another person and now you are deciding to free yourself from that and get your sh get your life back on track so you know, I feel like you guys are letting go of a toxic situation this week for good, for good. And it could be with a water sign, could be with a fire sign. But I feel like there's just been too many, too much relationship turmoil here. There has. If these two are mirroring each other, this is relationship, this is turmoil, this is reversed. There's been too much. There's been too much. This person it does not have good intentions. And you know it. You know it. So, let's see. Advice. Your challenge is this person, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, could be any other sign. Whoever this person is, they're toxic. They are. It's a toxic person. I was going to put a challenge. That's funny. I was thinking challenge, so I put it sideways because that sideways is a challenge. That's funny. This is probably a water sign. Could be a water sign. Somebody who comes in to sweep you off your feet and fill you up with a bunch of Beautiful lies. They're beautiful. The words are fantastic. It's exactly what you want to hear, but they have no substance whatsoever. But it's exactly what you want to hear, right? So that's why you're having issues because you know, you know, okay? You know that they, the words coming out of their mouth isn't true, okay? Um... And you're probably going to decide that you don't want to invest in them anymore. This is this is unrealistic. It's unrealistic. The shit that you're telling me is unrealistic. So I feel like you guys are, are really making some serious changes in your life. And this includes removing toxic people who don't tell the truth from your life. So I feel like you may decide to no longer invest in this situation at all. Because you see the truth. You are absolutely seeing the truth. And I feel like you're making the decision to rip that blindfold right off. So I feel like this is a week of, of making a, a decision in regards to our unrealistic situation. Seeing the truth. Finding the confidence and the courage and the strength to cut this person out that is toxic because this this devil card is cutting somebody off it's it is it's freeing yourself and you're taking the lead you're being the boss to get your life back on track and you can't have this person in your life that is is full of shit so um 
yeah, I feel like you guys, uh, something is happening very, very quickly. Like I said earlier, there's very fast moving energy here. And that would make sense, okay, with the, with the new moon in Gemini. I think things are happening very, very quickly. Um, you're receiving some sort of communication that is probably... You know, it's something that you don't want to hear, and it's something you have, it's getting, it's something you, whatever you hear, you've known about for some time, and you've, but you've been holding on to this person for who knows what reason, and I feel like this is probably the week where you decide to, you know, this is getting too old, it really is, this is getting too old, and you know, you are acting with integrity, you're not telling me the truth, I know you're not telling me the truth, you're dealing with somebody who is not being truthful, Gemini, okay, you are, they don't have integrity, they're not looking for anything serious, it's fantasy, and that's why you're in your head, that's why you're in your head, so I feel like this is a week of liberation, it's a week of freeing yourself from a toxic situation, letting it end. I am going to free myself and take back control of my life because I don't need to be emotionally blackmailed by your lies. So I feel like this is a week of taking charge, moving very quickly out of a toxic situation. That's what I see. We're going to get you some of these. What else do you have for Gemini? I don't know why I'm flipping it. I'm so used to flipping. You guys have been dealing with somebody over here. This could be this water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Could be any sign. Could be any sign. Okay, that is. It could be uh, Earth sign. Could be an air sign, or uh, uh, fire sign. Could be any sign. Okay, I feel like there is somebody that has a wandering eye. They aren't stable. They're not looking for anything long term. They're a player, and you know it. You know it. So in this, you know, I don't know what this is, but I have to give you the messages that I see. Stay optimistic about your love life. Positive in thinking and faith will bring you romance. Just because this situation isn't working out doesn't mean another one won't. Okay, Think positive. Step outside of this situation if it's not happy, if it's insecure, if there's problems, if there's conflicts, if you're dealing with a liar. Step out of it. Be positive. The right one will come pretty quickly, I think, after you free yourself from this toxic situation. The devil is the basis, which is underneath. It's the basis of this whole week. It's freeing yourself from a toxic situation quickly. And probably just as quickly as you free yourself, you find somebody else if you're positive. I don't know worth waiting for son of a gun divine timing is at work in your in your love life it is it is think positive the right one will come when you do the right thing when you get your life back on track when you move all toxic situations from your life the right one is going to come in don't settle for somebody who doesn't have good intentions who fills you up with fantasies Okay? Wait for the right one. That's what I have, Gemini. Talk to you later.